COVID-19 telehealth provider White Coat saw revenue triple on year in 2022 and a startup is now seeking profitability. It lays out expansion plans with the opening of its new headquarters today, seeking to serve all healthcare needs, not only in Singapore, but across the region. Shalin Sia has more. What happened to you today and how can I help? Seeing the doctor remotely, a sight that's become common in the new normal brought about by COVID-19. White Coat is now going beyond general practitioner consultations. It wants to be a one-stop shop for more needs, such as mental health and children's medicine. We're doing paediatrics uh, as uh, it's part of like, primary health care uh, tailored to the children. Uh, it is something that has a very, uh, very uh, strong interest in uh, as parents uh, are very keen to have a paediatrician uh, consult uh, for their children uh, from their homes for, for conditions that may need follow-up with a paediatric uh, specialist but not require a physical consult every time. With these, White Coat's on track to provide 700,000 teleconsultations and medication deliveries this year. That's up from the 400,000 last year, building on momentum from COVID-19. Digital health companies like White Coat have played an essential role during the pandemic, offering remote services in times of movement restrictions and to relieve the strain on hospitals and clinics. In White Coat's case, it's one of the official telemedicine providers for the Health Ministry's COVID-19 Home Recovery Program, offering essential medical attention to infected patients during isolation. The firm ultimately aims to provide medical care across the whole population. It's taking cues from the government's healthcare roadmap. The next logical step is to see how we can work with them on certain initiatives such as Healthier SG, where we start looking into more preventive healthcare. So how we've grown the healthcare ecosystem is by partnering with key stakeholders such as pharmaceutical companies, healthcare providers and logistics companies. Apart from Singapore, National Development Minister Desmond Lee says such digital solutions also open up opportunities in the region. We are in a unique position where we can tap on our global networks as well as our proximity and knowledge of Southeast Asia, a fast-growing middle-class market. As we drive technological innovation and transformation in Singapore, companies can also harness technology to offer localised solutions in neighbouring countries. White Coat will expand into Malaysia in the first half of this year and Thailand by year-end.